You know, it feels like it's been like 30,000 eternities since I last touched this damn game. Even though the last time I played it was already like not even a few hours ago. Because I had to grind. Ugh. But anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to more of the Pokemon Glaze Nuzlocke. Oh my, last episode, some bad things happened. I mean, we finished the Elite Four. I have nothing to prove I beat the Elite Four, but I beat the Elite Four. And even though I beat the Elite Four, very bad things happened that I'm not going to talk about. But let's do a team update. This is the new team. Why do I have a team of five? Because we're going to Johto today, and I feel like we're going to get some new mods. So yeah, spoilers, half my team died. Half of my team died. Including Wishmaster, which I'm still so sad about. He was our second, you know what, let's just, let's just talk about the new team. First we have Frozen the Glaceon, with Thick Fat for some ungodly reason. How does this thing have Thick Fat? Whatever. It doesn't ever melt ice, because that's what he had from the start. I did EV train in special attack and special defense, because, yeah, Frozen kind of needed those two stats a lot, because attack is unsalvageable and speed is already terrible. With Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Quick Attack, and Mirror Coat for those special attackers. Now we have Allergis the Zoroark! He's still freaking alive! I don't know how! I don't know why! I thought he was going to die off during the Elite Four! But nope, he's alive, but Wishmaster isn't! He has Intimidate with the black glasses, and his stats are still the same, generally. He's just level 60 now. With Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, Cut, and Faint Attack, his moves literally have not changed. I'm still waiting on that Flamethrower TM. Next, we have Wizro, the Alakazam, who is kind of a new team member, but he was around during the Elite Four episode. With Synchronize to pass on those status effects. He's got a Twisted Spoon for a stupidly overpowered moveset of Shadow Psychic Spore and Trick. I mean, Trick is just kind of there at this point, because I don't have a fourth move for him, but his literal bread and butter is putting him stuck to sleep with his base 180 speed, 100 accurate spores, and then just blowing everything up with Second Shadow Ball. Then we have Bully the Zuelus! He evolves to level 60 fucking 4! And he was level 36 when I caught him! He has Hustle, so... Yeah, bad ability. I haven't given him an item because I don't even know what I'm going to do with him when he evolves. With Shadow Ball, Headbutt, Dragon Breath, and Crunch, this set is definitely not final. And last but not least, we have our leader, Swamp Man the Swamper! He has been with us the longest. With Torrent. And the Saw Sand. With superpower, strength, earthquake, and waterfall. I honestly don't remember where the hell I'm going. I need to pull out a mod from the box. Because we need to fly. And I unfortunately don't have fly on any of these party members. Uh, let's just take... Did I put it on the boss? Yeah, I put fly on the boss. I mean, the, only, the other reason I have five members is because I tried to train at Metalhead, but... Most of Metalhead's stats literally only go to attack and defense, and his special defense is actual cancer. With so many common weaknesses, yeah, I'd rather not have that. So, that's why he's not in the team, and that's why we're running a team of five. So, let's just take the boss, and we're gonna fly to somewhere. Pretty sure we're supposed to go to... Southerly City? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get the Celebi, but, you know, Celebi's typing isn't nearly as good as Jirachi's is, even though they're both weak to fire. Just that Jirachi was better. I don't know, I might consider getting the Celebi. But, for now, I think this team is fine. We're gonna put Bully in the front because I want him to evolve at some time this eternity. So, is this the place we're supposed to go? Let's just put some cards on. No, so we see airport. Tell us the only points to use are buy points. Huh? Ah, oh, you must be Ruby, correct? My name is Professor Oak, expert at everything Pokemon. And of course. Oh, this is my wonderful street, Chris. I decided to bring her along to see the Tunod region. Tell me, Ruby, is it true that Espeon live in the nearby forest? Oh, I must go and see that. Goodbye, Ruby. 
Oh, that Professor Oak, always on the run. Anyway, my name is Chris. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you, Champion of Two Not, eh? I, I'm not technically the champion, because, you know, we kind of... Because we're still traveling around, we kind of gave up the position of champion to Percy. So now he's the champion. How about you travel to the Jota region? I'm sure you'd love it as much as I do. Oh, you bet your sweet bippies I would. Give me that plane ticket. You present that ticket to the nice man in the runway. He'll take you right on to Johto. Take care. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I grinded my whole team level 60. I have no idea how strong things are in Johto, so... Level 60 it is. See, so I have a plane ticket. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's fly. Okay. <laughs> this looks awkward. Okay, there we go. We're speeding up. Oh my god, this looks so awkward! Where are we? Oh, hi! Oh god, it's you! Welcome to the Jordan Region Trouble! I'm the guide train! It's my job to direct new trains where they need to begin their journey! You don't want to start making a story book of Professor L! Just how that way I tell you to get to you, Mark Town! Don't try going to rip right beforehand either! Um, okay. Can I go in his house? I can actually go in his house. Okay. I like there's anything I even want in there. More Chain go see, though! There is nothing of- I can- I can get an encounter here because I have Surf. You're going to block my way. What the heck is that? Teleportation system is offline. No going around the machine that Pokemon serves a teleportation machine. Technology has come really far. By the way, Route 29 is over here. I'm sure you already knew about the- about ledges, but do you know what? You could use a Pokemon move to jump up those rocks and the ledges? I think you need a Zephyr badge first, though. Oh, come on. Okay, that's cool. Hornberry? But we can get an encounter here on Route 29. So let's let's see what we got. So our encounter for Route 29 is Oh what the hell! It's only level 35. Wow. I don't even think I have any Pokeballs. And never mind, I have 30 Ultra Balls. Alright. Come on. Come on! I can't attack you or else you will literally die! DUDE! There we go. Eradicate sturdy fangs grow steadily to keep them ground down. It gnaws on rocks and logs. It may even chew on the walls of houses. I'm just gonna call you... There. I can't think of an original name, so we're just gonna call her the rat. Oh my god, what could I have? Are you serious? I could have had a pigeon! You know what? I'm just gonna kill you. I forgot to turn battle emissions back on, so it's a good thing we are not fighting any trainers right now. Alright. Let's put the rat in the PC, because not only is she only level 35, but right away. Her moves are pretty subpar. I mean, it's more power in the PC. I mean, look at all the stuff we have to work with. We have Forgotten. We have Scarf Pikachu. We have the Helix. I mean, I've got a decent range of monster workers. Except you! You are literally useless. But anyway, useless monster side. Now let's go to New Bark Town. Because, if what I know about Generation 2 is right, we are going to get ourselves, at long last, a Johto starter. God damn it! Pidgeot, go away! Level 6 is on the bully. Wait, can- Are you serious? I club it every train passing this way, you're next! Welp. Alright, kid. Youngster Mario! He has. Oh, okay, never mind. It's only level 46. Oh, he has intimidate, though. Shadow Ball. Why, Freddy? Dragon Breath. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I mean, my whole team was like level 60, so I'm probably not going to be seeing much challenge. Journal Gatehouse. You're walking a really powerful program to reveal itself to you. 
It's not level 40. 40 actually on Route 46, I swear. You don't have anything to say? Oh. Or Route is it? Okay, it doesn't tell me. Route 46, Mountain Road ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna avoid this route for now. I can get an encounter in there, but, you know, I'm just gonna play it safe. Let's just go down to New Bark Town. Fuck! I can't find a ferret! Oh wait, no, it would've been due, so I already have sc I had a Sentra. And we've messed the wrong button catcher. He has a Scyther! Like it matters! I am level 62! Get on my level! He has a Scizor! Oh, wait, I don't have any fire moves. Shit! Blow up a swap man, blow him up. You know what to do. It went for like one HP! What? Get out of here. Wait, that's another Scyther. Okay, I, uh, well, I didn't kill you. Okay, what? Another Raticate. A Shining Stone? You know, I'm honestly impressed I haven't run into any Shining Stone. You're a trainer? Oh, you are definitely... You... You look like a trainer I'm gonna have to fight, so let's go push on the fight. How did I know? Good you guys are taste of what being a trainer is all about. So you just stand here and bully trainers who come by to get starters? What an ass. Sensei Sugo. Oh no, that's a Scrafty! Guess what I don't have? I have a Spore! Fuck you! <laughs> You know what? What's your gonna speed? It's Shark Skin! And play- Wait, what? You have play run? Oh, no. This thing is actually a problem. Fighting types are a problem to my team, and Scrafty is literally just like the culmination of all those terrible things put together. Because of its typing and sad. Never mind. You look like a beginner, but you battle like an expert. Dude, I literally beat the whole two in that league. Alright. New Bark Town. Teleportation system is offline. Ethan's house. Chris's house. What's this house? New Bark Town, the town where the winds of a new beginning blow. Hi. First one gets on Star Park from beginning trainers. Do you go get yours yet? I'm not even a beginning trainer. I've literally blown up an entire region. Julie was thrown together after Mount Silver erupted. I heard they got some of the tougher gym leaders to become the Elite Four there. Huh. My favorite city is Goldenrod because there's so many interesting things. Yeah, you know, like an infamous mill tank. Let's look around a little bit before we go in. Hi. I hope that Ethan is okay. I haven't heard from him ever since the week offered him that position. You're a trainer, aren't you? Make sure you visit your parents every now and then, okay? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Anything of value in here? There's an email. The whole link is proving to be harder than I thought. I just got the dynamo badge from Watson. Only five left. I'll send you another email as soon as possible. Lots of love, Ethan. It's dated two years ago. Ah. There is nothing else of value in here. All right, let's go. I can get an encounter here in New Bark Town. Hi there, Chris's mom. Are you Ruby? Chris told me she met a fine young trainer in the Tunard region and saw potential in you. Don't worry, you're always welcome to stay here. We met like not even ten minutes ago. Wait, what's this? A luxury ball. Cool, thanks, I'll take that. Nothing! Alright. Well, at least there was something in like here. Let's get our starter! The one thing I actually care about here. Oh, don't- No! Look who's here! The Slowpoke! Late as usual, eh? This is Silver, one of the best battlers in the Johto region. He went on his own journey a few years ago, right? It's nice to meet you. Don't mind, Shell. She's mostly just jealous because you and Percy got to be champions, while she didn't. Ha! <laughs> Sucks for you, Shell. Wait, what? That was the lead calling. They need me to get back. Ah, to my gym to face a challenger. What? He's a gym leader now? Goodbye, Ruby. And take care of yourself, little sis. What else sis? What? 
Is it my bro something? It was because of his travels I decided to travel on my own and two not after all. Well, I guess you won't be getting your guess what we getting your starter. I remember why I chose Chikori. Shut up. You better not choose Chikorita also. See you around, so shut your mouth. I would love to pick Chikorita, but I already know which one I'm going for. Hi, Professor Realm. Ah, you must be Ruby, right? Chris called me and mentioned you might stop by. Here, I have a gift for you. Even though you're already an experienced trainer, I'll offer you one of my starter Pokemon. Go ahead, I have more for other trainers. Okay, so do I just like... Uh, no. Now, here's the thing! I like all three of these starters. But, this is a Nuzlocke, so I want to pick the most optimal starter. Which is probably Tordial! Because, for Alligator is really good in Generation 2. Probably the best starter in Generation 2, to be honest. But I already have Swamp Man, who is also a water type. I mean, I'm already running literally the exact definition of a fighting weakness in a non randomized setting, so fuck everything. We're gonna take the Turtle. And we're gonna def we're going to give him the standard nickname that I always give all my Turtles. Jaws. I mean, he's only going to be like, what, level 5, and I'm probably going to have to raise him to level 60. You can choose Toadow, an excellent choice I must say. If you're looking for the best way to start, I'd head to Violet Seat and challenge the gym there. Just head north out of Cherry Grove and you'll make it in no time. Good luck, Ruby! Okay, cool, thanks, dude. What level are you? FIVE! Oh, fucking course! You have quiet nature. Okay, with only two moves. Well, we'll fix that soon. Can I heal here? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, let's go. Jaws is just gonna be kinda holding us back for a little while because he's only level five. Can I actually just like can I, do I not can I not walk? No, I have to walk. Especially because I don't think you can just fly back. Yo, fuck that. Yo, let's see. Can I fly back? I have the boss for a reason. Sorry, Jaws. You just have to chill out on the PC until I decide to grind you up to level 60. Alright, can we just fly to... Um, well, no. We cannot fly. Well, shit. Looks like we're walking. Looks like we're using the speed up button, boys. I, there are also these cut trees we can just use illusions on. Wait, what's that? Kapow, why noon? What's this doing here? Teleportation system is offline. They drop away. Alright, back to Cherry Grove. You can't get in my way anymore! What do you want?! Excellent! You got your own starter Pokemon! You guys look strong together! Here I have one last gift for you before you begin your travels in Johto! I ALREADY HAD THE BAD CASE, YOU <laughs> THIS GUY! Yeah, 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 you feel the same as your trainer card. Uh-huh. Go away. Please actually just die. Is that just like a key item? No, it's not. It's act. wait, what the heck? Back up a second. Wow. That's a little weird. So wait, do I just have a- OH! It's literally the Frontier Pass! Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Route 30, though! Oh, hi. Butterfree, you're dead. Butterfree, you are also dead. Alright, so Route 30. Let's check out this house first. Uh huh. I can tell you're not hanging there, right? You can't visit. Yeah, sure. It's the least I can do. A citrus berry! Yeah, thanks, dude. Uh huh. Why are you giving me information I already know? I've basically beaten the game already, dude! Who's an item? Okay, well, Route 30, we get an encounter! And it is. Oh, what the hell is this? Fucking butter for fine. I'll take it. I'm not gonna use it though, let's be honest here. It's a freaking butter. Dude, it literally broke out of the ball while I was asleep. There you go. 
I was hoping that would be our first try, but we don't really need to what Butterfree is. It's a fucking butterfly. We're naming it Butterwing. That's the end of it. It's staying in the box for all eternity. Let's be real here. Alright. Fight me. Okay, never mind. Um... Oh wait, so I'm just a has surf! Duh! Oh my god, what could I have had? That's another brother for me. Okay, Mr. Pokemon. Let's actually go have yeah, this guy. See if okay, well I'm kinda glad I got Butterfree now. Cause I could have easily got Wedian. And Wedian is instant fit star piece. Oh man, that's so Why do I have so much shot? oh all right. All right. This is making me sad. Now it's making me remember my sack, my losses again. Uh, I have a zinc. Anyone want a zinc? These are a hell then. There's so much junk in this bag. Gosh. Wait, what the hell was that? Uh. That was weird. I'm gonna have to look at that back in recording. Hi, you got anything for me? Hello, my name is Mr. Pokemon, the world renowned purchaser of Pokemon eggs. Who might you be? My word, can it be? You're Ruby! I saw you on television when you won the Tune Up League! I'm such a big fan of the way you battle. Here, I have a great gift for you. What do I get? You're sure. Luis, <laughs> there's a PC literally right here! Yeah, give me all those level 5 mods I'm never gonna use! Except maybe Jaws! Alright, let's look at Butterwing real quick, who is never going to be used. Compound Eyes is automatically good, he doesn't have so he batteries, so he sucks. Okay. That's all we need to know about that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, thanks. On we go. There's a guy down there, but I really don't care enough. Route 31! We can get an encounter over here, too! Alright, oh, I had a repel up, never mind. Now I can get an encounter over here. So our encounter for Route 31! Is another Butterfree. No, it's not. It's Tube Scars. Alright, now for real! Route 31 is... Weeping Bow. Alright, well, sleeping time. Because this is not past generation... Whatever, whatever, whenever the hex spore no longer affects grass, that kind of turns back. <laughs> At night, a weeping bell hangs onto a tree branch with its hooked rear and sleeps. If it moves around its sleep, it may wake up to find itself on the ground. I'm gonna call him the hole, cause no matter what, that mouth of his you know what? No, 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 no! I have a better name for him. We're naming him Birdo, cause Birdo has a hole for a mouth. He's not a girl, and it's just ridiculous looking. Anyway, Dark Cave. Let's explore. Okay, let's get our encounter almost immediately. I'm actually very disappointed right now. Its drill tip tail is used to burrow into the ground backwards. This Pokemon is known to make its nest in complex shapes deep under the ground. Yeah, we're going to name you Potential. With a question mark. He is also never being used because Dunsparce sucks. I am sorry, but this is a fact, not an opinion. Another shiny stone, though. I could have had Ursa Ring! What the heck is this? Why have I gotten no good encounters except maybe a Weeping Bell? Oh, hi. The man is asleep. Maybe we can get up with the Pokemon. Okay, well, 
I'll take this Rosemary. There was nothing of real value. I don't even need to battle trainers because I'm so over leveled. Hi. You have the Pokemon Plus? Oh, you're way behind in the times. You don't tell me anything? Tower's really old, which is why we have many old style buildings. This Pokemon Center is look old style. Okay. Let me check some. There's someone up there, and I'm not a fan of people being in places. So I'm going to trade by here. They've the stone that'll let you evolve those too. This is the Spout Charlie, so I subscribed to Tramp Bell Sprout. I do anything for one. I'd even trade you my Onyx. What? Dude, you can catch weeping battles out in the grass and I like level 40. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's Henry! Ruby, I can't believe you're here! Are you traveling the Jota region too? Well, I have some news. <sighs> My mom and dad ended up separating. Mom thinks that dad was too weak, so... Regina formed her own coalition of X-Team Fusion members. They aren't just targeting a mute, they're targeting as many legendary Pokemon they can get. I just saw them seeking to the ruins of Al south of the city, but I've asked too much of you already. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Are you serious? Team Fusion's not dead? Well, that's okay. What are you doing in the jump? Oh no. You said I was going to go spend some time with the ruins of Al. Maybe you can find- Okay, well I'll probably get the battle you later. Bowser's a master flying type train. We're getting tougher in the last few years though. So can we like hit up Sprout Tower? Cause I can get an encounter in Sprout Tower. Spirit's the way of Pokemon. Okay, just like a Bell Sprout. Mini Tower really is, is a really tall Bell Sprout. Gosh. I mean, I. You know what you say? First, what we destroyed the tree blocking the way to go over our city. Turns out it was actually Sudorudo. So speaking of which, there's what the heck? Legendary Pokemon Research Lab. What? What the hell is this? I'm a new scientist here. I hope I can see a legendary Pokemon before I die. Yeah, good luck with that. Heard that the legendary dragon was summoned recently in Tunod. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Aww. Have you ever seen a legendary Pokemon? I died. There's only one of each species in their superpower. I've seen a Jirachi, and I got killed in an incident that we don't want to talk about. We study legendary Pokemon. Everyone here has their favorites. I think Regirock is the coolest one. <laughs> I'm doing research to write junior artifacts. So much of one I am a value to them. Right, there's also a PC in here. I don't know why there are PCs literally everywhere in this region. Um, excuse me? Shh, can't you see I'm hunting for a Sudowoodo? Shoot! I'm hunting for a Sudowoodo. Right. Must be very serious to close the entire city off. Hope it all works out. The team from out west is responsible for the threat. Fuck, catch a I'm sorry, Golden Rock City is on lockdown. A threat was made on the scene. We don't want anyone getting injured. What? Gosh dang it. Well, it looks like. The only way to go is to the ruins of Alf. That's what the game is pointing me towards. But. Wait, gang it down there? Route 32! I guess I'm gonna get stopped by something. No, I can get an encounter over here. So well, let's see what we can get. My encounter for Route 32 is going to be oh what? Wait, no. This is juice because I had coils. I mean, coils is long since dead, but you know, this is juice. Poor coils, killed by a scar Pikachu in his prime. Dude, I already had coils. Can't believe I remember that far. GO AWAY, ARP- YOU KNOW WHAT, THAT'S IT, NOW YOU DIE! I already have you too. I literally just caught Weeping Bell like not even 10 minutes ago. I caught you like not even 15 minutes ago! THERE WE GO, NOW WE'RE TALKING! Alright, chuck the ball. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Well, Fine! Okay, what the heck? Oh my god, he has a Steel X! No! 
We do not play those games. Swamp Man, damn it. Oh god, he got the one turn wake up. It doesn't matter, man. He died! He has Sandstorm! Now I can manage some ground type. Wow, well, it was unintimidating at all. Like, not even intimidating in the slightest. Well, that was easy. Is there an item over here? Oh, Max Revive! It's a shame I can't use it because this is a nice lot. But, you know, after. Okay, what can I have at? Arbok, you know what? Fuck you, you die. So, that was a absolute rip. But, I mean, all the encounters I got were either disappointing or just straight out terrible so far, which is just not good. So, let's take a look at the rest of the things we got, which were these two. First is Birdo, who has Borophil, an area where there's only rain, with no grass move whatsoever outside Sunspore. That's terrible. And then we have Potential, with Serene Grace, but terrible overall stats and bad moves. So, we'll rip Potential. So, with that, I think it's a good time to end things off, because, well, honestly, I think we're going to blaze through parts of Jota with no real challenge. To being over leveled, that's all hell! But I'm fine with that! So next time! We're gonna blow up more trainers. And yo, know, two story stuff. I will see you then! I forget my hockey has changed, so sorry. <laughs>